Hey, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. And today I got something a little bit exciting for you. We're gonna have a face-off between the Ganzo 727 and the Cold Steel Voyager. Guys, I can't wait for this one. It's time to put these to the test to see what they're really made of and see who comes out on top. So stay tuned. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so why are we doing this test? Well, first, let's just go ahead and get it out there. I had a couple people that commented on my review of the Ganzo that they were not confident that the lock would hold up under some harder use. Um, now they were comparing this to not necessarily Cold Steel Voyager per se, but Cold Steel Knives in general. Now, um, what are the people that had made a comment had mentioned that if you did um, that using this to do a spine whack it would probably fail um, so let's address that first first I use knives a lot right I mean that's one of the big things that I do on this channel is test and review knives um, in my entire life of using knives I have never once felt the need or had the need to spine whack a knife um, now, I know Cold Steel loves to do that as part of their test, and uh, I've watched a lot of the testing they do, and it's, I mean, it's pretty interesting, it's cool to see, but personally, I see no need in it. But we're going to do it. We're going to try it. I'm going to do, for each one of the knives, five spine wax each. Um, now, if I remember correctly, I'd looked this up before, this is supposed to have, be able to hold 180 pounds. Um, now I have no equipment to be able to set up a knife and brace it and hang weight off of it um, But that should translate to being a decent amount of force being applied to it like batoning or something like that um, so gonna do five wax each then um, I Found two pieces of wood I'll go ahead and make this just a teeny bit smaller to make it more even so to speak more fair um, this is wood that you would buy at your grocery store to use in a fireplace or a fire pit. So I got two pieces that are pretty close to the same size. I'm going to use each knife on each piece to baton through it and see how the lock holds up. Um, if they're both still performing at that point, uh, maybe I'll figure out something else to do and uh, test it a little bit further. Um, now, put in the comments below which one you think is going to win. Personally. I mean, I love cold steel knives. They're awesome. They have probably the strongest lockup in the business. But, I mean, let's just be honest. I don't put my pocket knives to use like a fixed blade. I carry fixed blades, right? So, the only time I would ever do this kind of stuff, as in batoning with a pocket knife, is if I was in a complete survival situation and I had to make this wood a little smaller. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to burn this wood as is, right? I'm going to find sticks that are really, really small at first to get the fire started, and then I'm just going to throw bigger sticks on it that I find. Um, I'm probably still in a survival situation, not going to use a pocket knife to baton with. That's just me. Everybody's different. If that's the way you like to roll, that's the way you like to roll. Go ahead, rock it. But for me, I carry fixed blades, right? I always have several knives on me, so... Um, this just isn't something I would normally do. All right, now let's get this set up and let's get started. All right, so let's get started. First up, Cold Steel Voyager. And I apologize for the child you hear yelling in the background. Um, I've never heard kids outside playing in the 11 years I've lived here. Never had this issue. But this is the time I got in order to do this and this is real life, so here we go. Five spine wax with the cold still void. <laughs> All right, passes with flying colors, but that's no surprise. Now, the Ganzo. All right, here we go. Now you can hear. I'm hitting that really hard. No blade play, no front to back. Lockup is holding just fine. 
So, just as a matter of curiosity, let's go five more. Ten wax. Holding up just fine. And, yes, I'm putting a good amount of force behind that. So, still flips shut. Still functions perfectly. Alright. Now, let me uh, get set up. We're going to put the wood down on the deck and we're going to start batoning. So, let's move the camera. Test number one, complete. Alright, so here we go. Now, one of the things that I need to mention about this wood, since I did mention that this is the type of wood that you would get at the grocery store in the bundles to uh, be able to use in your fireplace and fire pit. This is a kiln dried hardwood, right? So if you're going to use, <laughs> test out the strength of a knife and the strength of the blade, the lockup, use a hardwood, right? Might as well go ahead and put it to the toughest test possible. So now I am going to start on the thinnest part because if I was going to use this in real life, in a real life situation, I would start with the smallest pieces, right? To make it easiest on the knife. No issues, lock still holds. No movement whatsoever. Let's go to a little bit wider part. Alright. Holding up pretty well, but I gotta say I'm, I'm not shocked. This is a cold steel product. So, alright, this is gonna be the widest portion let's go ahead and put it just through its a real test right let's go ahead and do it the hardest way now one of the things I will mention while I'm doing this is that if you like to have your pocket knives be a one tool option then yes, I would say buy cold steel knives all day, every day, right? But if you're like me, <laughs> and you're a knife guy, you like to have all different types of knives. You're not only going to buy cold steel knives. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's some people out there that do. I'm never going to be that guy. But if I'm going to carry one and my intended purpose is going to be a one-tool option, I'm probably going to go with this. But... <laughs> Let's see what the Ganzo does first before we've completely made that decision. Now we know Benchmade, the axis lock, is a really good strong lock, right? We know Spyderco has a really good uh, compression lock. Uh, we know a lot of lockbacks are very strong and just in their nature and design. Um, so since Ganzo uses the axis lock, let's see if it's going to do as well as a Benchmade's uh, version of it. All right, so once again, we're gonna start at the thinnest part and work our way back, if it holds up. Made it through this. No blade play, side to side, front to back. Still solid. Let's move it on up. <clears throat> Still going. Now, just like I did with the cold steel, putting it through the <clears throat> largest, widest part. <sighs> Better handle this.
Well, I gotta say, ladies and gentlemen, I am a little surprised. <laughs> I am. I'm a little surprised. I mean, I kind of, in a way, expected this to give. Um, the fact that it didn't, I mean, that's just pretty awesome. I mean, that's, uh, yeah, it's surprising, but man, that's a, what an awesome surprise. For a $13 knife, which is the average price, they're usually advertised at like $25, but they're usually always on sale for half off. Um, even if you paid a $20, <laughs> I mean, if you still watch, let me get this glove off. Still functions flawlessly. No blade play, front to back or side to side. I mean, I don't know how much more <laughs> you could ask. I think a lot of people will probably be pleasantly surprised by this. Um, I mean, I know I am, and it's still, let's see, can you can just, let's get some paper, and let's see how the edge is held up. I mean, this is honestly the largest pieces of wood I would ever attempt to use a pocket knife on, um, unless I had, you know, one of the five inch cold steels, uh, or even just the, uh, any of the cold steel recos. Man, I really like those, I need to get one at some point. But as much as I've seen on them, you know they're kind of rock solid. Uh, so, let me go grab a paper. We'll go see how the edges held up on both of these. And, I don't know, All continue right. maybe. So, here we go. Let's just go ahead and start with the Ganzo, since that's the one everybody, I'm sure, is going to be most curious about to see how it holds up. We got a little rip. Well, that one's okay. <laughs> I'd say that's a pretty good edge. Cold steel. No surprise. I mean, you kind of... Honestly, this was not really a test for the cold steel. This is obviously really a test for the Danzo. And to see how it holds up compared to the cold steel. But... I don't know. I mean, there's no other... I guess, I mean, I, I was thinking about it for a minute. There's no other real test that I would do. I would never use these to twist or pry. This is... Pocket knives are not designed for that. I'm never going to use them for that. I carry multi-tools. I've got other supplies I always have. Um, so I don't see any need to do a torture test as far as what is it going to take to break these things. But I think this is a pretty good display of the capabilities of the Ganzo 727. Um, and I already have the 729, that's in testing and review right now. I mean, it's the same company making the same product. I guarantee it's going to hold up exactly the same. Um, so, I hope this will help you in your purchasing decisions to get a Ganza. I mean, I think we just saw this thing can really, really perform. I mean, I'm never going to use it to do this kind of stuff, but it'll do it all day, every day. So, I don't know, maybe... I'll put it through some more hard use test over time to see how it holds up and then when I do I'll get back but I mean right out the gate I'm impressed okay guys in the meantime be prepared and have fun